Hey guys, welcome back to another Arduino tutorial. In this tutorial, I got this Arduino Leonardo a few days ago in the mail, and it was actually made by some other manufacturer other than Arduino. They just took the Eagle file and they remanufactured it. But if you actually look at that, it actually looks a little different from the actual writing, but it does have a logo. And it does have the gold-plated component that most Arduinos do have. Like the legit Arduinos, they have the gold-plated piece. And the gold-plated piece is a diode to prevent electricity flowing back to the computer and possibly damaging the motherboard. And one cool feature about the Leonardo is it, it's a single MCU ch board, and if you look at this writing on the chip, it's an at mega 32U4, which has built-in USB support, so it just uses one chip to handle everything. And it also has one more PWM, and that's pin 13, is also PWM. And one cool feature is you can use it as a USB device, and that's what I intend to use it for today. We're going to be making a mouse using a joystick and a breadboard, again, and multiple wires, which I do have here. And I do have more, which I'm going to grab. And we're going to start by looking at the joystick. If you look at the joystick, look at the labeling. It says D, which is a button. You can press this thing, X and Y, which are the axis. A joystick is basically two, two pentiometers. You can move it in any direction. And again, VCC in the ground. We're going to start by taking the joystick and connecting up VCC and ground, which will, I will do right now. And make sure you have a male to female header wire like this one, where it has one in that one side of that, and the other side is like that. So, we're going to plug in the VCC, and plug that into the positive terminal. Then take another one of those wires and plug in ground to the negative terminal. Or you can just connect it directly to ground if you want to. Which, did I just run out of that wire? Okay, so, again, that is ground. So you can connect it directly to ground. And then, we're gonna take a regular wire, and then connect VCC to the positive terminal, or five volts to the positive terminal of the breadboard. Then you're gonna take another wire, and connect a X to then A0. and then pin the Y to the A1. And we're going to connect that D, which is the left click button, to pin um, to pin 3. So, pin 3, I mean digital, not analog. Because we, you can only, it can only be high or low, so you don't have to worry about that. And then, connect up pin, we're going to connect up pin 3, or pin 2, of this thing to our positive terminal. That's the enable, and we're going to always make it enable. If you want to unenable it, you can just turn it off. Or you can unplug it. And that is pretty much it. So let's go over to the computer so we can program it. See you there. So here we have our code. And you can find this code from file examples, USB, mouse, and joystick. And this is what you'll get. One and then you can just go ahead and we're going to plug 
again are Dino Leonardo, which hopefully I have a cable. I guess I do. I have it plugged into a hub. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to see the result. So here we have it. This is our joystick. And I'm going to move my mouse up there. Do I know where my mouse is? Okay. So do you see the mouse? I'm going to zoom out a little. And then let's do let's click on a link. So I'm gonna go to file. Can I? It's a lot of hard to use this. Let's so this Look here if you want to, please. Okay. So, but you see, you can move it around. And it always likes to select something for. So let's see if we can search up. I'm gonna disconnect it and then search up something like that and see what happens. If we get any results, I'm gonna plug it back in. Hopefully, we can click on one of the links. And I did go to YouTube for some reason. So, I'm going to click on this. So, you can see this works pretty well. Because... Well, you can move this around. It's fun. So, thank you guys for watching this video. And another thing you can do with this Leonardo is you can actually make a keyboard, which is pretty cool. So, hang on if you want to try that. You, but you can only like type in a few characters. But one thing you could do is use a do. The do has 54 digital IO pins, which means you can use it very well. But the Do is also a USB device. You can also use the Do as a USB device, but it's not very help helpful because there's two, there's actually two USB ports on the Do, not just one. So that's the thing I don't really find that cool. So guys, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you see you in my other videos. Bye!